Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Teaching Budget. I am Mercedes. I am a single mom of one beautiful little girl. I am also a kindergarten teacher who is on her financial journey. If you would like to join me on this journey, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you never miss when I post. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So, it is officially the beginning of March. I love the month of March, mostly because my birthday is right towards the end of it. And I'm always excited for my birthday, you know. Girl gets to celebrate herself. Who doesn't love that? But, of course, that also means that we are finished with February and we have to set up our planner for March. So, of course, the planner we're always we're going to be using is the budget planner from Baddies and Budgets, which of course is listed down in the description. I am an affiliate of Baddies and Budgets. So if you would like to get this planner or any of her other amazing products, go ahead and use that link down below. I will get a small percentage of what you spend back. So that's a great way to support me and support my beautiful little girl. Okay. So just get that out of the way. Wanted to let you know. Any products you do see from Baddies and Budgets in here, I am an affiliate but Baddies and Budgets. Just wanted to be completely clear with you guys on that. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead in, and it is time to set up our calendar. I don't know why I'm singing, guys. I'm so sorry. I know I don't have a great voice, but, you know, <laughs> you might as well have fun, okay? It's too much sadness and suckiness in the world. Might as well have fun with it. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of the necessities. So for our notes, I'm going to number this and then I'll be right back to talk about what we're going to be adding to our calendar. Okay. All right. Here we go. So we are all numbered up. We have our notes section filled out. So we have green for payday, blue for bills, yellow for cards, pink for subscribe um, for subscriptions, purple for savings, orange for holidays, um, this golden color for work, this olive color for apartments and personal, and this light pink for YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, let's go ahead and highlight what month it is. It is the month of March. So we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill in some of that. So my payday is, for this month will be on the 29th. Payday. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight it. I only get paid once a month. So and Etsy pay is very much dependent on well if I get orders or not. So I did get Etsy pay at the end of February, as you'll see in a little bit when we get to the actual paycheck breakdown. Um, and I'm hoping sales can pick up and I can like really get that going. So go check out my Etsy shop, guys. All right, so we have my payday. Let's look at some bills that we have coming in this month. And I'm going to go ahead and write these in. I'm going to probably... Throw in the music for a little bit of it and then jump cut to these things being done, okay? Mm -hmm.
right guys so there we go we got everything written down ready to go so all we need to do now is go ahead and highlight everything Whew. so i'm going to remind you that bills are blue cards are yellow um subscriptions are dark or like a hot pink um savings is purple holidays are orange work is for this golden color which i don't think i'm gonna have any work on here at least not yet i'm not really sure what my schedule is gonna look like um appointments and personals don't have any of that on here because i don't think i have any appointments or anything oh i do have a personal that i need to put lord It will be my 33rd birthday. So we're going to put that as a personal. And then we have our, um, so those that will be in this olive color. And then our light pink is, of course, for our YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting things highlighted. And I will once again speed through this. And of course... Um, probably do a jump cut. There we go. We have my completed calendar. Wow, there's so much here. <laughs> there's so much here. Whew. And I actually did remember a work related thing. So we have every color. We have a teacher work day one day this week to break out the long month. So that's our work day thing. Um, but yeah, everything else is perfect the way it is. And whew, there's literally only one, two days on here that don't have something on here. Jesus. Okay. So we have a lot of holidays this season and this month, Lord, this season. And we have daylight savings time on the 10th. And I think... Is that is it rolling back or pushing for? I don't know. I can never remember. I hope it's rolling back. Like it'd be nice to get a couple of more hours of daylight, you know. Um, the eleventh is the first night of Ramadan. Even though obviously I do not, I don't celebrate Ramadan. I as a teacher, I like to teach about all, you know, religions and things like that. And so we do talk about Ramadan. So it's very important for me to have that on my calendar so that I know what day is the first day of Ramadan of course also we do have students who fast at our school for Ramadan during the daytime so it's nice to be aware of those of, of when Ramadan is so when we don't see a child eating and everything we and we ask them about it we can already know okay yeah it is Ramadan and we also like to provide them with spaces where they're not around a bunch of other kids who are eating food and they can't so knowing when Ramadan is, is very important. Um, we also have St. Patrick's Day, which is on the 17th. Holly, which is on the 25th, which I also teach about. Good Friday on the 29th and Easter on the 31st. This would be the first like Easter thing that I really do with my daughter. She was alive obviously last year at Easter time, but we just didn't really do anything for it. So this year I'm definitely going to do like a Easter egg hunt and stuff for her. So I'm excited about that. So knowing that it is on the 31st of March. Because sometimes you know it's in April. <sighs> you need to know those dates. Okay. And then I also have my YouTube schedule. You can see all the light pink that's going on here. And I even have one on a day that's not a normal day. That will be my monthly setup. So my monthly setup video. So this video will come out on Monday. And then you'll get my regular paycheck video on Tuesday. And then they get back into my usual, like, every other day posting. <clears throat> so, that's going to be fun. All right. And, of course, I have my birthday, which I'm so excited about. I usually take my birthday off, but I just don't have the time, like, the PTO to take it off this year. So, <laughs> that kind of sucks. I'm really sad about it. But I'll make it through. Because one of my students' birthday is the 23rd. So she, her parents are sitting in cupcakes and everything. And I'm going to bring like ice cream and stuff. I've been coordinating with her parents. And we're going to celebrate our birthdays together. Since her birthday is on a Saturday. And it's going to be fun. So yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump into our actual budget guys. 
I went ahead and had everything written down. We're just going to calculate some stuff together and then figure out and really see what's happening this month, okay? So, guys, I already know we are in the month of March. In this month, my income is way more than it normally is and it won't be like this again until pretty much around the same time next month next year when will i get my income taxes again so my um check like i said is way is more than it usually is it's six thousand nine hundred sixteen dollars and sixteen cents um i we have what's called um is it overflow pay overload sorry overload pay that's when we um we have a limit of students that we can have in our class our limit at our school uh, in our district is 25 we have 25 kindergartners in our class that's the max that we can have like but when we have two students before that when i get my when i have a 23rd student i go into what's called overload so that means that technically I can have 25 students. However, it's not recommended. So when I got my 23rd students, I was officially in overload. Then I got a 24th student. So I'm in so I'm technically in double overload. And we get paid extra when we're in overload. So that's what the extra money is about. And my my overload pay was about twelve hundred dollars and I received about eight, nine hundred of that. So that's why my paycheck is eight or nine, like about eight hundred dollars normal, um, higher than normal. Then of course I have my tax return. So obviously this does not include all of my tax return. I did tell you guys that I um paid off my credit cards. I also did a couple of other things with some of that money, and but I'm including the rest of my tax return into here. So the rest of it is $1,819.24. And then I also have my Etsy pay, which came out to $89.50. So that's awesome. Yay. So I love that. And hopefully I'll be able to include that Etsy pay a little bit more. Um, I did it in a monthly, so I made $89 in a month. That's not bad for a new Etsy shop, you know? So, um, I, like I said, I put it as monthly, and so I'm only getting paid as monthly. If my sales might start to pick up and I get more money coming in, I may switch it to like every two weeks or whatever. But for now, I think I'm going to keep it at monthly. So, with my all three of these incomes put together, we have a total of $8,824.90 to work with. So with our bills, we have our rent, utilities, usual, like all the usual things. The only thing that has changed um, this month, I'm paying my renter's insurance. So I'm going to go ahead and pay off that policy completely. So that's $95.66, which I have already actually done because I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. I did, um, oh, my car insurance did go up about $30. I did receive a ticket a few months ago, which I'm sure you guys remember. So I'm thinking that's why my car insurance went up. So it went from like $112 to $145. And before you guys did, I did search. I searched like online, like different companies. I even searched with my um with my um union at work because they offer car insurance as well. And my car insurance was still this was still the lowest that I could get with that ticket on my account so that sucked um i did raise my daughter's college fund up to 200 down to my credit card back up to 200 down to my credit cards are paid off so i'm hoping i can keep it there but if it seems to be a little too much i might bump it back down to 100 if it becomes necessary but right now i'm hoping to keep it at 200 dollars um let's say this didn't change daycare srm okay my daughter investment fee um um account I did bump that back up to $50. It was originally $50. I had to bump it down to $25 when I was trying to pay off my credit cards. But now that they are paid off, I'm bumping it back up to $50 in hopes that, you know, I can um, put more into investments for her. Also, you will see life insurance went up. It's usually $28.81. Uh, but I finally got my daughter's um, life insurance policy. 
together and approved. So with her, hers is about $20. Um, so with both of those added together, it's $49.63. So that will become the new normal for the month. And then um, this last one, I literally just added because I got this bill today. Kaiser is our um, insurance company. And when my daughter was sick the last time, I did have to take her in from some unscheduled visits and stuff. So as you guys saw, probably in like the last month's video, I did make a payment plan for one bill that I got and I just went ahead and paid that all off with my tax return so I was like might as well whatever it was only like a hundred and something dollars and then today surprise I get this freaking email saying hey your bill is ready and I go and now I have $284 that I owe and I'm like oh my fucking god are you kidding me and the sad thing is neither one of those are from the hospital when I had to take her to the freaking hospital so I'm still waiting on that bill so I am not okay, guys. I'm not okay with this. So I'm going to go ahead and pay this off so that when I do get the hospital bill, I can hopefully set up a payment plan or something and get that paid off quickly as well. So we will see. But yeah, I will probably be paying that off either tonight or tomorrow. We will see. But that bill is going to go away because I do not want to have that lingering. But Anyway, I digress. Uh, all of these, all of these bills added up to four thousand five hundred dollars and fifty cents. So let's keep a running track of like where money's going. So eight thousand eight hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety cent minus the four thousand five hundred dollars and fifty cents. That leaves up for four thousand three hundred and twenty-four dollars and forty cents to do everything else with. All right. So my variable expenses literally are not changing, guys. I feel like I've hit a sweet spot of like money wise of what I need to make it through the month. So my gas is going to get 200 again, even though my gas did have $110 rolled over this month. I'm trying to build a good cushioning gas. And so that if there is ever a month where I can't, where I need to like cut back on something, it would be gas because I'll have that nice cushion that can push me through for a while. Groceries is a $400. It gets me through the month. I tend to sometimes end up with a few dollars left that I pull and put into my bucks binder. So I feel like 400 is a nice round number for us. Dining out, $100. It did be good this month. Um, shopping, $40 is fine. I get $60 for my spending. My daughter gets $40. Miscellaneous get 10 And the only thing that I did change, I changed giving up to, I pushed giving up to 10 instead of 5 but I don't know if that's going to be able to stay that way. Obviously, I don't know. Um, but for now, it is at 10 Okay. So that adds up to $860. So $860. So we're at $3,464.40 after our fixed expenses and our variable expenses. So let's look at subscriptions. So I did lose, I want to say, two subscriptions this month. Or it might just be one, honestly. I don't I don't know. I know I lost my education with the apron subscription. Um I lost that subscription. I didn't cancel it. I love that subscription. I would never cancel that subscription. I lost it because um she decided that she wanted to move it from being a monthly subscription to just being a one payment subscription. So um as a as someone who already had the subscription, I got a very big discount because new new teachers are having to pay like two hundred something dollars. Whereas since I had already been subscribed and um a part of the community, I pay a one lump sum fee of fifty dollars, which I just pulled from my tax return, and now I'm locked in for life, and I don't have a monthly bill for it. So. I lost an $8 bill, which is amazing, and I love that. So, I actually think that was the only one I lost this month. I would see we've noticed my subscription has been getting smaller, which I love, and I'm so excited about. And, yeah. So, we still have our iCloud. We have Spotify. It's the Inc. Unest of fees. And Unest, of course, is my daughter's, um, my daughter's freaking investment fund. So, I do pay fees for that every month. And then my ring subscription. 
So that adds up to a total of $37.49. So that leaves us with $3,426.91. And we're going to go ahead and jump over to our debt. So um, what's left of my Capital One, Amazon, and Apple after I put in the money from, from the weeks that we have been... Um, that we have been pulling money for would be $78 for Capital One, basically $56 for Amazon and $3 for Apple. And I can't figure out what happened to where this money like just was suddenly due on those. And I can't, like I've been trying to go back and look at transactions and I literally cannot figure out what I forgot to pull for or what happened. So I was just like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just budget it in and get that paid off. And then my cards, these three cards will be completely at zero. My Apple card is always so weird because technically I'm saving $5 for the same subscription because I budget for my iCloud and my Apple card, the $2.99 is for my iCloud. So you see, like I'm saving $5. So whatever that other... $2.99 just goes into my buffer and I actually kind of like it that way because I have this like slow building buffer that I'm really not doing anything for. So I'm okay with that. So, <coughs> oh no, I forgot to calculate these ones. Oh no. So I'm max. I don't want to, I don't want to erase that. So let's see. All right. So let's calculate this. So seventy-seven dollars and fifty-five cents, fifty-five dollars and eighty-five cents, and two ninety-nine. So that's going to be a total of one hundred and thirty-six dollars and thirty-nine cents. All right, and let's go ahead and do this one because I don't look like I calculated any of these. All right, so let's talk about sinking funds. So each of my sinking funds is obviously going to be getting money. They're going to be getting a lot more than they normally do because of how much income we have this month. So my Dynast Binder is gonna be receiving a total of 275. My High Priority Binder will be getting a total of 965. My Low Priority will be getting a total of $430. Uh, my New Home will be getting a total of 730. And I will, now that I'm getting Etsy pay, I will be paying, uh, pulling money for the taxes. And so I calculated that out to $12. All right. So let's add that up and see how much we're going to be doing there. That's 5, 430, 730, 12. So that's a total of $2,412. Okay. And this one, uh, for saving challenges, I am going to be doing $160 each week this month. And I want to do some shorts with one of the saving challenges that I have. So I'm going to be um, putting about $69 towards that short this month. So that's $869. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and transpose these numbers into our monthly breakdown over here. So let's see. So let's add up our expenses in our subscription, our expenses over here. So we have $4,550 plus $860 plus $3749. That adds up to $5,397.99. Just double check that really quickly just because I want to make sure. $1,397.99. Perfect. My debt is $136.39. Um, sinking funds is $2,412. And my savings and investment is $869. So let's see what that leads us with. Hopefully, some cents. $1,397.99. Oh, Jesus Christ. I added that. I wish I could add that. They'd be perfect. $397.99. Oh, $136.99. $2,412. $869. Why is that $9 stuff? 
make it make sense. Why is there nine dollars left suddenly? What what happened? What went wrong? What went wrong? I just did these calculations and this should not. What the? F <sighs> okay. Okay, I do. Okay. So I have an extra nine dollars from somewhere. I'm not sure where or how or what happened. Cause I could have swore I budgeted this out perfectly. <laughs> so you know what? I'm just gonna throw an extra nine dollars into my shorts. Why not? So that's sixty nine plus nine. So shorts is gonna get seventy eight dollars. How about that? So I was gonna change my saving challenges to eight hundred and seventy eight dollars instead. And eight hundred and seventy eight dollars. And that should that should fix that issue. And I really don't worry about the cents mostly because I just don't want to be bothered with taking change out of the bank. Okay, so that leaves us with a total of 52 cents. Okay. There we go. There we go. <sighs> hopefully that was quick and painless for you guys. I don't know. Um, hopefully everything I like explain makes sense. If not, please let me know and I will try to clarify it for you in the comments. Well, that is it for our monthly budget. In our next video, we will be breaking down our monthly budget into our weekly budget. So join me for that one. And of course, go support your girl, me, on Etsy if you would like to. The link is down in the description below. I have some awesome saving challenges on there that's going to test your mind, going to test how good you are at Clue, all these things. Um, also... Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course hit that subscribe button so you never miss when I post, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!